everybody, how's it going? I've been eating some of the tomatoes off the plants here and I've noticed that although they taste pretty good, I think they could be a little bit sweeter, especially for cherry tomatoes. So after reading a little bit online and even in the comments I think somebody mentioned, uh, I went and picked up some blackstrap molasses. Now, there are a lot of sweeteners out there uh, offered by a lot of the big uh, hydroponic suppliers. This one, however, caught my eye because it's something that you can just buy down the bakery aisle of any grocery store, and I thought I would give it a shot. And you can see why, by looking at the back of this thing, people would want to include this in their hydroponic system. There's a good amount of uh, calcium, iron, you have magnesium in here, along with a lot of other uh, vitamins and minerals that could be beneficial to a hydroponic system. There's a lot of mixed reviews that go along with using this stuff online. Uh, because of the high sugar content you can actually end up feeding a lot of the bad bacteria that cause root rot and slime and because it's so syrupy if you don't dilute it properly you can actually clog up some of your pumps and sprayers. Application rates for this you're looking at anywhere from 15 to 30 mils per gallon or 1 to 2 tablespoons per gallon. I'll be mixing some up here for my system because why not? I'm gonna shake this up really good to dissolve as much as it as much of it as I can. Might even need to move this to a bigger bucket and mix it up even more. Because it is pretty thick. So you're probably gonna be wanting to add this around the flowering stage of your plants. And hopefully it makes for some sweeter fruit. Bottoms up. Now I guess I'll just wait to see what happens and hopefully it will not make a mess of everything. But there you go, that's an idea if you want some sweeter fruit, give it a shot and good luck. Mm -hmm. 